since we were already looking at assignment two, I've put the assignment three uh, work here only in the review so that we can get a close look at it. And here we'll start with Fadius. Um, I, I think she's done a very nice job of presenting all of this. Everything's clearly labeled. The only little thing I'd say is I wish I could see the designs themselves uh, a little larger so I could really understand what's going on. Uh, Fadia, the, um, the design is quite lovely. It looks as though you've taken a variety of components you've found uh, or maybe built, and you've arranged them. I want to encourage you to use the grid. I'm looking at the extra space at left and right next to those diamonds at the extremes uh, of the horizontal part in center with the design, and I noticed that that's not exactly centered. Um, Monochromatic looks okay. For triad, I think you've got your colors right, but your color wheel is wrong. With the triad, the colors need to be eight steps apart. If you're using cyan, magenta, and yellow, that is a true triad. Uh, when I click around on that design, I do not see the colors you're pointing to on the wheel. So I just want you to double check and make sure everything's right. So I can see I have the concept for these different Hermes. Um, Particularly with triad, you could be a little more exacting with the colors you choose. For instance, uh, the magenta red that is the backdrop is not the same magenta you point to in the color wheel. The color wheel is correct for triad. Colors are eight steps apart. Um, I want you to take a look at the student artwork in the announcement about this review here in class. I think that you could really push this design right now. You've used the design to help um, get a handle on the different harmonies, but I don't think the design is there yet, uh, nor is the color selection exactly what you want, I suppose. Um, uh, to my eye, Tetrad and Triad uh, include colors that are a little harsh. For instance, that shade of yellow in the Triad is, is a little bit jolting. Now, sometimes you can use an abrupt color change to your advantage, but I don't think it's quite working here yet. So I wanted to point out how that student um, from my class last session had a, a rather simple design at first at the end of week five, and she really pushed it. Well, Melissa, I hope now that you've seen, you know, some of your classmates' works with color wheels and pointers, you'll see the value there. Be sure to include that in your week six assignment one. Um, you know, when I look at this and check with the color picker, I can see that in triad, you've got a yellow, a yellow-orange, and also an orange. Now, those colors could coexist in an analogous design, but you could only have one in a triad. You know, um, I can see that your monochrome design is okay. With tetrad, without the color wheel, it's very hard for me to visualize what you're up to. Additionally, I see fine white lines between your shapes, which suggests that you'll want to go in and budge with the up, down, right, left keys. Um, this design could be advanced. At this point, uh, it has interest, but it certainly could be more complex. Well, Crystalline, I think this is the same file that I reviewed in a draft review, so I am going to refer you to the draft review and the assignment discussion for my notes on how this should be improved. Be sure to include a color wheel with pointers in your week six assignment one piece. Hi, Erin, I can see you have been having fun with this. Um, I want to mention to you and all of your peers that it is possible to drastically change your design from week five to week six. It could be that you advance it a great deal from what you had, or you might change designs. However, I would say do that with caution to be sure that you come up with a really great result for the uh, final project. Now, uh, looking here, things look good. You've got the idea the color wheels with pointers are working for the most part. I want to look at split complements. Um, with split complements, the cyan green color that we see in the design is not the same as the cyan you point to. Also, you should have a red that is leaning in the direction of orange in this design, and I don't see that. Um, if you take the color picker, you will be able to determine 
uh, whether the colors are in fact the same as on the color wheel, I would say start by picking the color from the color wheel and then uh, choose your shade or your tone from that same field. Let's take a look at the complementary um, color harmony. There's one white dot in that, which actually is adding a little sparkle. It may have been an accident, but it might be something you want to pursue. Gee, Lauren, I can see you really have the notion of how to work the color picker down, and you have the idea with the color harmonies. One little um, thing uh, to improve on would be with Tetrad, make sure your colors are all six steps apart. Now, um, one thing I want to encourage you to do is use color temperature and saturation to achieve the effect of advancing and receding. And I think you're doing this here um, already, but you could push it. Also, notice that if dark or dull colors recede into a neutral backdrop um, that has um, a, a middle value or a dark value, the effect is stronger. In other words, if you have a dark, dull color on white, it recedes less than it does on black or medium gray. Um, this is reminding me a little bit of some of the things we see in week one where people don't quite know how to draw perfect circles. There's a lot you can do with an ellipse that suggests movement or a funky, bouncy sensibility. Linda, monochrome looks good. Um, with the others, you can be more exacting uh, about use of limited hues. Within each of the hues you choose for your harmony, you can take any tint, tone, shade, or the saturated color. Um, also, harmonies are very specific. Tetrads need to be each uh, six steps apart, and with a triad, eight steps. My preference is for your analogous design. I'd like you to check the colors, though. You should be using only colors that are neighbors. Helen, thanks for making the color wheels larger and for adding the harmony names. However, some of the problems that I saw in your version 2 are still here. For example, when you point, you point between two colors instead of to one specific one. Show us exactly the colors you're using and use only those mm, hues and the variations, tints, tones, shades of the saturated version in each design. Let's take a look at analogous, for example. On the horizon, there's uh, a green color. It's actually a shade of a cyan green, and it's not a color you're pointing to on the color wheel. Um, I, I'm looking for those animals you talked about in your proposal, even just, um, you know, a hint of one. Hi, Catherine. You're closing in on an understanding of these harmonies. Notice that what you've labeled here as analogous is actually monochrome. In triad, each color needs to be eight steps from its uh, neighbor, and uh, I want you to take a look at the definition for split complementary again. Now, with regard to drawing pointers, I'd say try the pencil tool if you're an illustrator. Also, these designs, well, they look a little simple. I want you to work on a more complex array of colors, tints, tones, shades, and a design that shows more of your own ingenuity. Katie, I've reviewed this same work in other contexts, so I'm going to refer you to the discussion for info on this. Ashley, like Erin, I see you've done some extras here. Um, all your harmonies look okay. It seems to me that you could use some theory to do with transparency with this design. Tina, you've got things cooking here. You know, I think I prefer the monochromatic version. Um, I'd say maybe don't spread the large circles and the small ones all over the entire composition. Surprise us a little.